you know, this style uh, fly here is a, what I'm going to do is basically create a, a tapered fly with uh, some artificial body materials. And uh, it, it's a great little minnow pattern. I've tied this style um, for a number of years and it's worked out very well. What I'm going to use here is just some monofilament. And I'm going to attach a barbell eye on top just a little bit back from the eye of the hook. You want to leave some spaces. We'll tie in some materials here in a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we do once we have the uh, eyes tied in is we want to tie in our what will become the bottom of the minnow because it's going to fly, uh, swim upside down. And I've got some of uh, this uh, Arizona diamond dubbing and it comes in a variety of colors but it's really long fibers and it really uh, has good action in the water. So for the very uh, bottom of this I'm going to use their silver and then I tie that on just basically right behind the eye. A couple of turns and then fold that one back over the top and lash that down with a few turns. Now we're going to not worry about cutting it right now because we'll do that at the end. Um, so now I'm going to flip over, and on this uh, the underside, which will be the top side of the fly, we're going to use some of the minnow fiber, which is again a longer fiber material, and I'm going to use the olive. And this will be a little darker than what we'll ultimately use for the, the majority of the uh, top, which will become the top, and then same same type of thing. Now here's a little trick that uh, will help you out when you're tying these flies that have some uh, material that go underneath and you have to go kind of around the hook. So you basically, again, same type of thing like I did before, we just cross it over, hold it at a 45 degree angle there, and then tie that on, two lashes, and now we just pull this one around and we basically fold it around the shank of the hook. And what that'll do is it will evenly divide the material on either side of the hook. So you don't have to split it out and, and all that good stuff. Now once we've created that right there, the next step is uh, we're going to put in a little bit of this Palmer chenille. This is a medium olive. You can also use the orange. Um, gives it a little uh, more of a, a gilly body look. But uh, And of course this minnow can be, uh, you can swap up the colors for anything you want. And we're just going to take four or five wraps up until right behind the barbell eyes and I want to get a good amount because it's going to need to fill in the space right behind the eyes there and then I do one in uh, front of the eyes and then come back here and then tie that off like so. Okay now the the front, after the eye, we're going to use some more of this uh, Arizona diamond dubbing. And this, I'm going to use the darker minnow, uh, olive kind of greenish color, like this. And again, once I've got my clump of dubbing, I'm going to just pull it out so that I get at about that halfway point, make sure that nothing slips. And I'm going to tie that right at the halfway point, right in front of the eye. You hold that at a 45 degree angle to the hook, two wraps, cinch it down, and then we just fold that around the hook and then give it a couple of wraps, three or four, tight. And that's all we have on the top. Okay, now we flip that back around and for the what will be the belly ultimately. We're going to use some of the white Arizona Diamond dubbing and just get a big chunk of that. So basically I tie that right on top like so. Now one of the problems that you'll find especially with uh, flies with, that have barbell eyes is getting that material over the barbell eyes without having to bring my hook around and tie it like you would a clouser. Um, of course it's not going to kill anything but I've, 
I like to keep that kind of uh, tied in more cleanly there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some clear cure goo and it's the hydro and I'm just going to fill some of the gaps here on top of the barbell eye and then in and back there and then I pull this over and I'm letting it soak in just a little bit now I'm gonna zap it and what it's done is it's created a nice little taper over the top of that and it still allows most of the fibers to uh, to be tapered back and then there's no problem there as far as uh, material going all ski wampus on us now I'm going to grab my whip finish now the key to this pattern here notice we've got all this garbage in the back and it's not at all tapered I haven't cut it at all so one of the first things that I'll do is I'm just going to take my scissors and lop off what will really be around the length that I want and give it a little bit of shape as well and same, this is the same thing I do with the EP style flies and minnows if you search the YouTube channel you'll see some other videos uh, that I've done with the same kind of style fly and then the key here is our thinning shears and these uh, are anvils there's uh, several others that you can buy you can get actually get them at a, a haircutting salon place but what I do is I want to I want to taper this because so if you if you notice looking at it that direction it's it's not tapered going um, along the body like a if, if you were to look at a little minnow or something so what we do is I just angle this and I give that a cut and it's gonna thin it and I do do more cuts as I get to the end and so now it's going to taper it both this way and this way and I'm going to do the same to the bottom and then what you do is you just kind of keep trimming until you see that taper and shape that you want and then the nice thing is when this thing gets wet you'll have a, the bulk of the material up here uh, and then tapering down to this end it'll, it'll be a, a really minnowy looking uh, shape so there we go